From Southern Hospitality on Manhattan's Upper East Side, I'm Mark Hale for NYPost.com. I'd like to welcome in George King, our legendary Yankees beat writer, here to discuss the Yankees-Red Sox three-game series in the Bronx that'll start tonight. Uh, George termed it Baseball Armageddon in his story yesterday for the New York Post. And George, we got Freddie Garcia and John Lester to open up the series tonight, but uh, the Red Sox won't have Clay Buckholz for game two. He's been scratched with back stiffness. George, how does Tim Wakefield taking Buckholz's spot impact things? I'm sure the Red Sox would rather have Buckholz. He's in their rotation. Wakefield's not on a regular basis. But the knuckleball becomes the wild card, and you just don't know how the Yankees will react to it. Uh, Wakefield's been around long enough. He's been very good against them. He's been very bad against them. Uh, I would assume, all things being equal, the Red Sox would rather have Buckholz. Buckholz pitched against the uh, uh, Yankees the first time uh, we were in the Bronx uh, last month. The Red Sox swept that series three games. They also took two out of three against the Yankees in Fenway back in April. And George, the Yankee offense kind of struggled against the Red Sox uh, so far this season, but the Yankees have won six to seven on the West Coast where you just came from. How did the Yankee bats look when you were in Anaheim and Oakland and Seattle? They looked like they've looked all year long. They've uh... They've hit well in spurts. They have not hit well in spurts. They they hit a lot of home runs. They score a lot of runs. They lead the league in both. They uh, they're hitting 251, which is a little bit of a surprise considering that you know the lineup is it's got a lot of really good hitters. I mean, I think the the 251 is uh, below expectations. Uh, the home runs and the runs. I mean, that's how you judge. That's how you win games. Score runs. So I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a bad thing that they're scoring runs. You know. Uh, with home runs, but I would say that they would have to start hitting for a little higher average at some point. George, let's talk about uh, Derek Jeter a little bit specifically. He's got 3,000 hits upcoming here. He's 14 hits away right now. Uh, he is one of those guys who actually has not hit that well against the Red Sox this year, but what do you think this is going to be like for him, George? Is this is this a potential distraction? What do you think this kind of next two weeks will be like, and how does he go into this series at the plate offensively? He can't be, uh, you know, it can't happen. I know some Yankee fans would love him to get that 14th hit in the bottom of the 14th Thursday night to beat the Red Sox. It's not going to happen. He's averaging a little bit over a hit a game, uh, so he's not getting four hits every night here, four-plus hits. The, um, the distraction factor, it, it's going to be huge. Uh, it's, it, this is not Kansas City. This is not Milwaukee. Uh, this is New York. This is Derek Jeter. Uh, and the counterbalance of it is, you know, everybody said 270 was a bad year last year. Well, he's, you know, he's a 260, the high 260s and been floating around there for a couple of weeks here. Um, it, it's going to be very, very, very interesting to see where it happens. Yeah, if it's New York, if it's Yankee Stadium, it'll be a monumental event. It's going to be a big event if it's in Chicago or Cincinnati. You know, there's 10 games here in this homestand. It's not out of the question, certainly, that he can get it at home, which I'm sure the Yankees would love. Uh, but, uh, you know, averaging one a game, he's got like 1.09. I think, I think you're looking at more, um, you're looking at more in Chicago or maybe possibly Cincinnati. The, um, the other thing is if, if Joe Girardi thinks he needs a rest, if it's that slow, Girardi said yesterday he will do that. Um, you know, I don't think he'll do that with Jeter within one game of getting 3,000. But uh, to answer directly your question of a distraction, it's, it's a huge distraction. We'll see how it goes uh, in the Bronx starting tonight against the Red Sox. George, the finale of this series is going to be CC Sabathia and Josh Beckett for the third time this year. And actually, not only has Beckett won the first two, but he hasn't given up a run yet against the Yankees this season. How, how do the Yankees kind of solve Beckett, and also do you think CC maybe will go into this start feeling like he has something to prove a little bit? We all know CeCe's a great pitcher, but will he kind of go into that start knowing, hey, this guy has beaten me the last two times we pitched? Well, I think, you know, with Beckett, he's obviously back from you know, the problems he had last year, pitching like an ace, which he paid like an ace. Uh, Sabathi did not pitch very well in the Yankee Stadium the last time these two teams faced. However, in the last five or six starts, C.C. Sabathia is as good as C.C. Sabathia can be. So I think what you have to do is you have to separate what you saw in middle of May uh, 
from CC. I'd say in the last four starts, he's pitching as well as CC can pitch. I think you have to separate um, what you saw against the Red Sox to what you're seeing now. Um, I, I know the two games on the West Coast weren't uh, against lineups like the Red Sox, but um, I really believe that he's pitching a lot better. Uh, recently, uh, Beckett, you know, Beckett is uh, Beckett's a pain for any lineup. So it's not just the Yankee lineup. It's it, you know he's you know when when they have Lester Buckholz Buckholz and, and uh, Beckett, you know that's as good as any three in the American League. So uh, I, I think the way that the Yankees beat Beckett is for CC to throw good. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, that's the main event, I guess you could say, on Thursday night: Beckett versus Sabathia. The series though starts tonight in the Bronx with John Lester, Freddie Garcia, George will be there, I'll be there, you can read George all the time in the New York Post, he does great work, best beat writer there is. We want to thank George for coming on for the New York Post from Southern Hospitality on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, I'm Mark Hale.